Racing TV signing in, checking in. Another video to you. This is a uh, week nine preview of the Green Bay Packers versus the Detroit Lions. And uh, I'm going to be with you shortly. Brief, real brief video. Um, basically, just want to talk about um, the opportunity that we have as the Lions to capitalize on trying to become the Division North uh, champions. Uh, we see that, that the Lions have not made the progress to actually being what a lot of fans want them to be. And I know everybody wants the Lions to win, especially the Detroit fans, because the Lions have had so many seasons of losing. And you want to see these guys win. You want to see these guys perform and do well in the games. And sometimes, man, it's just, I don't know, man. I don't really know why this franchise continues to lose games and lose all the time. And losing is just being part of this culture. And, you know, my biggest thing is that I thought that Jim Codwell was changing the environment and changing the culture. But as you really can see, that the Lions sometimes revert back to their old ways and instead of winning the games, they find a way to hurt themselves and lose the game. So now um, we see that the uh, Minnesota Vikings have a six. They're six and two right now, and Green Bay is four and three, and we're three and four. So basically, we got an opportunity to try to catch up to the Green Bay Packers, um, as well as trying to get closer to um, the Minnesota Vikings, who are playing phenomenal football um, since the last time we met. And I uh, got to give heads off to the Vikings for doing that, as far as like uh, trying to uh, take the Division North title since uh, Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers went down. So we know that this is a rivalry game this week. Um, nobody wants to win this game better than me, man. Um, I guess the Green Bay Packers, but I know it's not going to be easy. Um, I can say that the Lions are going to go in and win, and we should win. But just because they don't have Aaron Rodgers, that don't mean that the Green Bay Packers cannot beat us. Um, because we hurt ourselves in so many football games, and we do so many things that um, just kill us, man. Um, we just need to get better. As far as the offense, uh, I don't know if uh, Taylor Decker is coming back this week. I'm hoping that he is. Um, we need Kenny Galladay back out on the field. Man, we, we are hurting in a lot of areas. But I just want to bring something to your mind before, um, you know, just, you know, leave it in the comments what you think about this. What do you think about Jamal Agnew being converted from a corner to a running back or, an, or a receiver? Something about when Jamal Agnew has the balls in his hands, he makes things happen. Um, he could be like another uh, Tyreek Hill that plays for uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. But um, I, when I watched Jamal Agnew against, uh, man, I was, I was loving that play. And um, it was kind of amazing that they brought him in on offense. And I could not understand it. Um, as far as like, man, it, it was it was surprised to see him on offense. But the Lions, you know, whipped something out of the playbook. But it's something about when Jamal Agnew has the ball in his hand, he's able to make things happen. What if the Lions converted Jamal Agnew to a running back? Now, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that, you know, they're going to do that. But, man, what if they made him an offensive weapon? Um, because I seen when he got that uh, that nice run, man, it was like, man, he bust straight through the hole. And it was a nice trick play and run. So I think that's what the Lions need to do. Whatever they need to do to get better as far as getting the ball to playmakers. And I think Jamal Agnew has solidified himself as one of the Detroit Lions playmakers. But we also need um, other guys to step up. I don't know what they're going to do with Eric Ebron. Um, a lot of people are down on him. Um, I know that Eric Ebron has the potential, but he has not played to it. Yes, he has dropped so many passes, but he also played, you know, he also caught some passes in, in the last game. So um, I know people are being traded, 
I just saw that the uh, the Eagles grabbed the running back from the Dolphins, and we know that the Lions need a run game. And the biggest reason why Matthew Stafford is throwing so much is because we don't have a run game. Now, this is not a knock to Amir Abdullah or to any other the running backs, even though it could be a knock. Just saying that the guys are not explosive and not committing themselves to hitting the holes harder. But um, the run block has to get better. The, uh, the offense has to get better. We have to be able to put points on the board that's unacceptable man to be able to get into a red zone that many times and can't score or can't can't find a play that can get you into the end zone so this week we face an opponent that we're familiar with but also an opponent that could beat us and they beat us so many times yes the Lions need to figure out a way how to win this game but will they find out a way to win the game so hopefully the Lions will be able to um, win this game in Green Bay. I'm predicting the score would be 21-14. Um, I just don't see too much um, explosiveness from us scoring touchdowns. So we just got to figure out a way to win this game. Um, it doesn't matter um, our records or anything like that. We just got to go in and do what we need to do and win this football game in Green Bay and it's not going to be t it's not going to be easy because the quarterback that they have now likes to scramble I got a, t a chance and an opportunity to see him play finally with his first full start last w uh, week before last and uh, he looked pretty mobile out there so we got to be well aware that he will take off and he will run on us but they also still have weapons with Nelson and Adams and um, the running back Jones and Montgomery as well and uh, Randall Cobb as well. So we got to be willing to play, man, and go out there and make plays. But I just wanted to bring that to y'all attention about Jamal Agnew. I just think he a special player as well. And um, what do you think about him? being converted over to a running back or to a slot receiver or something to help this offense off to get some type of playmaking ability on offense because we need to find playmakers. Um, we know that Kenny Galladay has been down. Hopefully he'll be back in this game. We need him tremendously to open up the field for the other players. Um, and we just got to stop as receivers. We got to stop dropping so many balls, you know, um, Matthew Stafford threw over for 400 yards, but it, st it really didn't mean anything because you still lost the game when you had an opportunity to win the game. So Detroit, man, you guys got a lot on your um, table. Everybody's saying that the schedule is getting easy, but the schedule is never easy. You can lose any game, any time of the week, and any given Sunday you can lose. So the schedule is not easy because any team can beat you any given Sunday. So they just got to come in and focus and do what they need to do to get wins. And uh, we need to find out how to work more trick plays, how to work more plays on the offensive side of the ball and just let Matthew Stafford be Matthew Stafford and be a gunslinger. All right, you guys, it's Noble Creation TV signing out. Peace.